Hey guys, it's time for another haul video. This is a haul of stuff I bought last week and I'm waiting until right now to film it because I wanted to wait for my stuff I bought from Coastal Sense to come in the mail. It finally did, so... I can get started. <laughs> I'm gonna get started with the drugstore stuff. So first I picked up two more nail polishes from Sinful Colors and I bought these at Walgreens. Um, this first one is in Mint Apple. And it's got kind of a gleam to it. And then the next one is in Folly and I thought this would be really cute on my toes. Then I picked up three lipsticks from Wet n Wild and for some reason last week, I was feeling like super impulsive. I don't know what was wrong with me, but you'll see. So these are from the newest, I, from the new line. There was an older line, which was okay. And then I heard Irene, who is Pinky Charm here on YouTube. She was talking about these and how she likes them. So I figured I'd try them out. And so this one is in 902C. And it's just this, like a darker nude color. It'll be good if I can manage a tan for summer, maybe. And then this one is 903C. It's a nice coral color. This bottom one. This bottom one right there. That was a weird voice. Ooh. Um, and then this is where the impulsive part came in. I saw this and immediately I was like, I have to have it. I'll wear it all the time. I don't know what I'm going to wear this, but I will figure something out. This is in Vamp It Up and 919B. Yeah, it looks black. It is this um, incredibly dark plum. And I just felt so determined, like, I'm going to wear this, and I'm always going to use it. I don't know what was going through my mind last week. Nervous breakdown or something? There it is. So, the colors are pretty creamy and smooth. I haven't really got a chance to try them out yet, but I will let you guys know how they work. Maybe I'll wear that purple one in a video. I don't know. Um, the next thing I bought was from the Maybelline Eye Studio line. I have one of these, and uh, it's one of these ones. This is in Khaki Craze, and to me the packaging is just ridiculously big. Yeah, it'll keep it safe because it's got this big giant square, but it's not realistic for in my like makeup storage, but it has this like beautiful shimmery gold and then this like olivey color and I really like the gold I'm planning on wearing this because I want to try out gold looks for summer but the green was like uh, and what really sold this to me was it was in the clearance section for like three dollars and fifty cents and I've seen these as high as ten dollars so I couldn't pass that up um, the next thing, this is another Maybelline Eye Studio, and this is in Sapphire Siren. You guys have all seen these. And initially, I picked this one up because there was a sign at CVS that was like $2 off. And so I was like, alright, everyone's been raving about these, let me try them out. And these are not colors that I would normally pick out for myself. I call it the Tory Spelling Rule, where I never wear blue eyeshadow. Long story, but I felt inspired to give these a try. And I've been working with this green one. They're very metallic. I'll be honest, I probably won't use this black one ever because it's so glittery. And it's annoying because every time I open this, the little double-sided applicator rolls all over the place and gets product everywhere. So yeah, I'm really going to make an effort to try new colors out and be a little different. And with that in mind, uh, here's the one I bought. And then I bought this one, which is like the same colors from Wet n Wild. And this is one of the seven Deadly Sins palettes. They only made four, not seven. This is in Pride. I have the other three. My favorite one is Greed. And I use that thing like 
at least three days a week. I love it. And again, for those of you who don't know, they have the um, three shimmer or three matte, three shimmer shadows, and they're extremely pigmented, and they're just really wonderful. Like you can't really beat that. And then like here's a matte one. And each come with let's see a little sponge tip applicator and a tiny teeny little brush which these are about five dollars and then I went to Hannaford and I found it for like three sixty nine, I think so I was like oh bargain then I went to Mac and I picked up an eyeshadow and this is in the color free to be and for those of you who don't know it came out in the Liberty of London collection and was added to their permanent line and this is a matte color and it's a very beautiful like a peach coral and um, I have a clean finger here it's not super pigmented and you kinda gotta work at it when you put on your um, your eyelid so there it is I like this it matches pretty well with my prom dress and I was gonna try and work something into that for prom finally picked that up by the way but it's going to be a surprise for all of you, so I'm not showing you guys just yet. That's something else I picked up last week. And then my order from Coastal Scents, I got one of these lip brushes that come in a little case, good for putting in your purse. This brush, I haven't washed it yet, but running my fingers through it, it does shed a little bit, so we'll see. And again, it's got the little cap, and it slides right on, and like... If you see it will fall right off but the trick is there's these little ridges at the bottom if I can close it and you have to kind of spin it to get it to lock in place and then it won't come off so that's good and then I picked up my first gel liner ever from Coastal Scents and this is in the color Summer Fun and yeah it came like a little like cracked if you can see that like I don't understand why maybe they're all like that I've never had one before but this is such a beautiful color. Oh my goodness. I can already tell I'm going to enjoy this so, so much. Okay, there it is. It's a lot more um, peach and vibrant in person. But the camera's not picking that up right now. Also, it's a lot smaller than I imagined it would be. So, yeah. And also, I like it. It has a glass jar. So, so far, so good. And then the main reason I placed an order was the 88 Metal Mania palette. I saw a review from Emily Noel on this, and when she was showing everyone, it was, um, that's what it looks like. It was this row, this second to last, like this whole thing, that just really caught my eye. And this is the, like, the whole reason that I wanted to try it, pretty much. And these aren't super shiny. Like, they're shiny, they're not glittery, which is nice. And I just can't wait to, like, go and try them. But I'm a little disappointed. This hasn't really happened with any of my other Coastal Sense palettes. Like, some of the colors, especially, like, this one, they're a lot, like, lower in the pan. Like, it's not as full as some of the other colors, which I guess is okay, but it's a little disappointing. And another thing about these that I've noticed just right off the bat, they don't seem as chalky as the 88 Warm palette has nothing to do with makeup but it's just so cool I wanted to share with you guys I went to a craft fair with my mom today and she bought me this puzzle box and I don't know I saw one of these on the Big Bang Theory and it like opens up like this and it just like slides and it has all these compartments and it's just really fun and I just can't wait to keep it on my dresser and hide my stuff in there well, everyone who's watching this will know what's in there, but whatever. So let me know if you guys have tried the Metal Mania palette and what your initial reactions are. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye! I made a huge mess all over my hands. God, like this won't even come off. Like I just, look at what I did. Ugh. Anyways. And I got all over my pillow.